Well, the local black-owned black -owned bookstore and coffee shop, Baldwin & Co., got a special endorsement from the Oprah Book Club. On Tuesday, owner DJ Johnson woke up to this message. If you're looking for a few more titles to add to your to-be-read list and you happen to be headed to New Orleans, check out Baldwin & Company, a black-owned independent bookstore and coffee shop inspired by James Baldwin. Now, DJ is with us this morning to discuss this incredible honor that happened to come during Black History Month. So tell us about this. Okay, so, you know, we're all under the assault you woke up to this but her people actually reached out to you first what was that like it was amazing they reached out for permission to run the story and I just was like absolutely like, <laughs> yeah of course you can run it I would, I would love the the endorsement so yeah it was amazing and it's the only bookstore that she's endorsed yes so she started a book club in 1996 mm -hmm. and she selected 98 titles thus far and each title is personally picked by Oprah herself and when you look on a page, Baldwin & Company is the only bookstore that's endorsed. So it just speaks to the level of commitment. To get that level of recognition from Oprah, it just speaks to the level of commitment that Baldwin & Company has to the community. How did she know about you? You know, I'm not sure. You know, I think it's just the community service that we're doing. It's yeah. just been uh, widespread. We've had some phenomenal authors come by, Nicole Hannah-Jones, Michael Eric Dyson, Stephen A. Smith. Um, so we've had amazing authors come by and in building a literary society, it's almost like a renaissance yeah. of literacy that's building out of New Orleans and the community service work that we do, no other bookstore does. Tell us a little bit about that. So in the first two years, we've already contributed over $200,000 worth of books to kids in the community of wow. New Orleans. We do a children's literacy uh, story time every month we do that we do our book festivals where we provide free food free drinks free books to all kids in the community wow. our initiative is to build home libraries for kids there's a statistics that shows that individuals that grow up with books in a home and that have a home library are 85 percent times more successful than kids who do not that's just 13 books inside of a home so one of the things that we want to do is we want to give every single kid in new orleans a home library that's amazing and you mentioned 98 titles. Anything that she endorses, just the sales blow up. Have you seen enough ticket sales? I mean, absolutely. It's been a whirlwind since she's endorsed it. I mean, we've been getting calls from all around the country, emails, messages. The support has been exceptional. So, I mean, thank you so much to Oprah because it's, it's been a whirlwind ever since the news came out. Well, you certainly deserve it. Tell us quickly where you're located. And then you mentioned some book signings. You have an important one today. Yes. Um, so we're located at 1030 Legion Fields Avenue. New Orleans, Louisiana, 70117, just on the corner of St. Claudine Legionville, next to the old jeans pole boys. And uh, today we have Ebony K. Williams. She will be in the building for a book signing for her new book, Bet on Black. That's amazing. And you do have an event coming up Saturday, too, I know you want to talk about. Yes. So we, we actually have a number of events I would love to mention. Sure, go ahead. But, um, so we have Clint Smith, who's coming up as well. He is a local New Orleans author. He's a phenomenal poet. He wrote the book, How the Word is Passed. We also have Eric Thomas, who is considered the hip hop preacher, phenomenal motivational speaker. He's coming his on uh, March 25th. We also have, uh, this is so, so much. This is a there's great so much. thing. There's, yes, this there's, is awesome. So much. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so I just want to encourage everybody to come out uh, to Baldwin & Company. Tell We're, us your website real quick so they, oh, can, uh, they can look the whole list. Oh, yes, the website. So it's www.baldwinandcobooks.com. And is I didn't mean to interrupt, but I know it's, it's, it's a bookstore, it's also a coffee shop, and you have a place where people can, can do podcasts. Uh, Sheba did your story. We have a link on our website. She... Um, featured you guys when you first came out. So the growth has just been unbelievable, it sounds like. It has been, um, and it's the support of New Orleans. Um, the support of New Orleans have mm -hmm. been phenomenal. They've come out, and it's because of the people that we've accomplished so much. It's because of that community support. And it's just me wanting to give back to the community that gave so much to me. Right, and I know you lived in Atlanta. Your mom got sick, you came home, and mm -hmm. then you did kind of feel this calling, like, I need <laughs> to stay here, this is my place. And it's nice to know your mom is doing better. But thank you so much for everything you do in the community. Oh, this you. shout out is absolutely well deserved. And I do have to mention, everybody is mm. wondering about Gene's Po' Boy Shop, what you're going to do with it. So quickly give us an update on that because I know you, he, you own that as well. Yeah, we're, we're, so we're looking to lease it out and uh, we're going to open it up for individuals that we feel can enrich the community. Great. All right. So that's happening soon. Thank you so very much. Guys, you can visit Baldwin & Co. any day of the week from 7 a.m. 